Mexico. DICE Air Force Base is introducing a new way of training for their aircraft maintenance team. They're taking things virtual. KRBC's Jessica Rank getting an exclusive look at how this first of its kind program will cut down on time and increase accuracy. Switches to off. You've got the big headsets and the controllers. Whoa, that was trippy. But this is all work, no play. So this is the future of training. Dice airmen stepping off the flight deck and into this virtual reality. It's a medium they feel comfortable and relaxed in. Learning a little more about the aircraft they're working on. This just gives it a fresh inject of, of new innovation, a level of innovation that wasn't there before. Tech Sergeant Hogue has been working along Staff Sergeant Clinton to bring this new form of training to the base, which they say replicates the feeling of working on a C-130 without getting your hands dirty. We can actually see every single student get trained to the level they need to. Which is very different from the old way of doing things. I don't know the level of understanding if I take a, an airman out to the plane and I'm training them. And I, I, they could walk away and forget everything. Everybody got it? But in this, I have a, I'll have a report that tells me exactly what they understood. Yep, there you go. You found it. And by the time that's done, they're going to have a deeper level of understanding and we have a, a provable method that they've learned. And besides the fact that this gives each trainee their own set of wings to learn on. In this room, I can fit 16 aircraft. It also leaves room for mistakes without consequences. Out in the flight line, there, there's a real barrier of just saying, I don't want to touch anything because if I touch something, maybe something breaks. And then down the line, that costs somebody their lives. And whether they're training newbies. I'm excited for every student that comes through here. Or teaching veterans new things. They haven't been able to see things like this. Dias says they're excited to be able to lead a path to the future. Switch to standby. At Dias Air Force Base, Jessica Rank, KRBC, Aveline's Local News. Thank you, Jessica. Dias is actually the first base to integrate a maintenance VR program like this. The first group of airmen are set to complete this training on July 15th.